Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you how to set up a mobile based wallet uh, for your Stellar Lumens, and I'll do a few test transactions. So let's get going. All right, so I've done a lot of Stellar videos and uh, how to buy and sell Stellar Lumens and uh, showing you several wallets that you can use. So I noticed that there is uh, some mobile solutions. So I thought I would uh, show you how to set one up and play around with it a little bit. Transfer some tokens. All right, so if we go over to the Stellar website and we go to wallets, you can see there's quite a few uh, wallets that are available and we can sort of narrow them down over here by going to mobile wallets, All right? So uh, there are quite a few mobile wallets that are available for Stellar. Uh, and I'm going to use the Lobster wallet today. And the first thing I'll do is head over to the App Store and we'll do a search for uh, Stellar Lumens. All right. And then you'll notice here that uh, the Lobster wallet is uh, available. So I'm just going to choose Get there. We'll go ahead and download this wallet. Uh, so let's register to this interface and I will choose register and of course it wants me to do a little of this captcha so you got some mountains and hills I guess all right all right and that's gonna send me an email to confirm all right so let's check that guy out we're gonna verify my email Oof. take me over to this all right. All right. So now that I've uh, activated my account, I should be able to sign into the wallet. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I should be able to sign into the wallet, and it's going to take me through this again. Oh, there's more. Okay. All right. Okay. So now that I've uh, successfully created an account and managed to get it myself signed in. I'm going to create a new wallet. Okay, so they're going to throw some Stellar in there for me. That's nice of them. But then they're going to take it back out as soon as I put some Stellar in there. Uh, I don't know. Let's call this uh, Mobile Stellar. Ah, all right. So i got to create a unique username. Mm-hmm. All right. So let's try the Crypto Dad. See if anyone's taken that. Apparently not. Yay. All right. All right. So it's giving me a seed phrase that I need to write down so uh, that I can recover the wallet if I have uh, lost my phone or anything of that nature. And my method usually is to write on a piece of paper the name of the wallet and the date that I created it. So it just won't be this uh, empty seed phrase uh, laying around on a piece of paper. All right, and once we've written that phrase down, I'm going to tap this little checkbox that I understand, and I'm going to click OK. They got over here. Uh huh. They emailed it to me. Oh, that's real secure. <laughs> they just email me the free seed phrase. Well, basically, it uh, looks like their type of wallet is maybe slightly different. This may even be a hot wallet, for all I know. Uh, because I don't know that I control these private keys. Uh, they may control the private keys. So I might have to do a little research into that. Nevertheless, let's... Uh, so I'm not going to put a bunch of Stellar in it, but I'll, I'll put a little bit of Stellar. All right, so uh, let's put some Stellar in here. See if we can figure how, out how to do that. Let's hit Receive. All right. Ah, I see. So uh, someone could uh, pay me uh, through this uh, username that I created, if they wanted to, if they have the exact same wallet. But uh, in this case, I'm just going to copy. Right? And then I will send it to myself. Uh, Auto-correct it for me. I'm going to send that to my desktop. And the reason I'm going to do that is uh, because I want to send this Stellar from my desktop-based wallet. All right, so I'm just going to uh, stop my screen sharing at the moment. And let's uh, log into our Stellar wallet. 
All right. So I have Stellar uh, in a Stellar wallet uh, that's based on the Ledger Nano S. The private keys are held on the Ledger Nano S. So I'm going to log into that wallet. So I'll go back over here to the uh, Stellar website. Get back in there. All right. And you'll see I want to use this Ledger based wallet. All right. And I need to sign in with Ledger. Uh, and so in order to get that active, I need to sign into the uh, Ledger device. And so you'll want to install Stellar on your Ledger Nano, Le Ledger Nano S if you don't have it installed. You can uh, add and remove the app without affecting your uh, balance or private keys. Right? So sometimes we need to shuffle uh, apps a little bit. So we'll want to make sure that we go to the Ledger Nano S uh, home screen and sign into the Stellar wallet by clicking both buttons at the same time. All right, and once I've done that, I can refresh and I should see a nice blue button now. And I can log in and see my uh, Stellar Lumens. And I'm going to paste that address in. Uh, so now I'm ready to send. So I'm just gonna send 50, I'm not gonna go crazy, like I said. I'm gonna send some Lumens to that address. I don't need the memo because I'm sending it to my own personal wallet. All right? And it asked me, do I, uh, you know, to uh, confirm this transaction? And before I do that, we're going to pull up the phone just in case it comes like instantaneously. We want to take a look at how that works. So we can see uh, the wallet here. We'll go ahead and submit that transaction. And there it goes. Oh, I need to confirm on the ledger whenever I send cryptocurrency out, which is one of the security features of the ledger. So I'm just going to hit that little check mark the button above the check mark and there we go successfully sent let's take a look at our phone see what we got hey see it came in right away which is why I wanted to make sure that uh, I had my phone ready to roll okay so and they just sent me an email telling me that uh, I just got some stellar which is kind of cool so we can see that this is sort of a uh, I don't know if I have the private keys on here or not it just seems like they control the keys, right? But anyway, uh, it's a nice little handy mobile Stellar wallet. And I'm going to go ahead and return that Stellar Lumen back to them. I don't need it anymore. So I'm going to pay it off, right? They were nice enough to set up the wallet for me with the required amount of Stellar. And they're pretty happy, right? <laughs> All right, so now I have my own uh, Stellar Lumens wallet. Uh, it's got about 10 bucks worth of uh, Stellar Lumens in there right now. And that's cool. Now you can send and receive and do all kinds of fun things with this wallet. Uh, as Stellar becomes more mainstream, there'll be lots of opportunities to use this mobile-based, very convenient wallet. You know, I personally like using my uh, Apple Pay-based uh, wallet at the store. And I look forward to more ways to use my phone uh, to pay for things uh, when I'm out and about. Very convenient, very cool, very fun. All right, so there you go. Uh, I installed the wallet, I set up the account, and uh, you know, copied the backup phrase down, and did a little transfer so you can see how it works. So uh, I encourage you to do the same. Uh, don't throw your life savings in this wallet. This is just a fun little mobile-based wallet that you can use. Uh, to carry your Stellar Lumens around on the go. So uh, if you have any questions about what I did, I encourage you to throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to give you an answer. I'd like to remind everyone that I have a live stream every Friday night, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Please join me for the live Q&A in LA. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.